Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. Well, I was a little kid, and uh, man, I was fascinated by the police. Uh, I'd hear a police car coming down the street. I'd run out there and stand by the road just to watch them run blue lights and sirens. So that's one of the main reasons why I became a police officer. It, it, it gives great enjoyment of being able to help someone because you're the last resort, and they're depending on you to come and help them with their problems. So I really enjoy it. Kilo at 362, some folks are doing it. Kilo at 244, Kilo at 68, it's nice, sir. Just got a call that gives us another officer in reference to a male and a female getting into a fight. Supposedly on this one, the female is the suspect as opposed to the male. So uh, we'll pull up with this other officer and find out what the end is going on. Threw me on my back. I'm dis. I'm totally permanently disabled, certified by the state. And uh, so she came in the house and uh, made a big scene. Started throwing, grabbed me by my hair, wrestled me to the ground, and kicked me in my groin and stuff. I, I did not go back up there. Just like you said, she came to my house. And I didn't ask her in. She just opened the door and walked in and started screaming and yelling, grabbed me by my hair, threw me down, man, I'm disabled. I got you tear your shirt like that? Yeah. You're already done. She tore my shirt, she grabbed me like this, started yeah. slinging me around, yeah. and uh, I'm totally permanently, I got a rough disc, this ain't a uh, displaced nerve root, a herniated disc on top of that, and a bulging disc on that. I got collapsed vertebrae in my neck, man. I didn't deserve this. You leave these wild women alone. Well, let's hear what her side of it is, OK? Bump up on the face. You beat the shit out of me. He did? Yes. Well, he just said you jumped on him and, and, and beat the crap out of him. Yeah. Does it look like it? Yeah. Why did you walk into his house uninvited? No, he goes, um, where's my money at? I said, what money? And we start talking about money and stuff. Now I want to know how did you get in his house uninvited? I was invited. As he said, as... come on in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you just walked up there, and he said, come on in, and the next thing you know, y'all got the thing with him. We were friends, and um, he was talking about a voodoo doll that um, he was going to press a curse on me because I stole money from him. I said, okay. I... I didn't do that. I don't know what you're talking about. It's freedom of religion. Okay. I can do anything I want in here. Go back. Don't come back out here again now. Uh, at this point, this officer's going to issue a trust right or a trespassing warning. She'll be no longer to come back on this guy's property. In the event that she does, we'll be able to arrest her for it. That's basically what's happening. He's already checking for warrants now. Neither one of the subjects are warned, and they have been arrested before. So he's just going to do a trespassing warning on her and send her on the way. 2045 Jimmy's Road, via Terrence Apartment. Mr. Moore, yeah. hey, did you, did you have any other questions? You understand, if she returns back to your property, Moody. and you got, I'm sorry, Mr. Moody, and she, you got yeah. that trespassing warning, you know, call us and we'll take her straight to jail. What's this doll she keeps talking about? Some voodoo doll. dolls. Is that the your own religion? Is, man, I can't even get in my house. I got to find my keys. Uh huh. Where, hey, if you help is this one right here? This not one of those dolls you're talking about, is it? No, man. No. Flowers grow on that, man. Okay. I, I would love to show you. Ma'am, you would have to have to help me get in the window. Help you get in the window of your house? What did you lock you just came out the front door? I left the keys in the house, man. Did you close it behind you and lock it? Yeah. It's got an automatic lock on it. Why would your keys be out here in all this hay? Dude, you don't understand. I'm trying. How upset this girl has made me. Okay, well she's gone now, so try to relax. She's a professional. Con on, man. Right. It's my house. I, I own it. Okay, I understand. Man, if you hold right. that window right there, can you? All right. I'll jump through and meet you at the front door. Okay. And I'll show you the dolls that religion you choose, though. Okay. My religion. That's All right. right. All right, jump in there. Don't kick me on your way in. All right. Oh. Uh oh. Watch your head. Hey. All right. All right. Okay. You mean what? You meet me at front. Okay. All right. Come in here, man. 
You don't have no snakes or nothing, do you? Man, I got snakes no, from one end of this house to the other. No, I'm serious. I don't like snakes. I will protect you. No, you tell me where the snakes are, because I don't the like The snakes, snakes are in here. I want you to get a look at them. Hey, yeah, you're right. I'll stand right here. Now, now wait a minute. You don't understand how many there are. Dude. You see all them snakes right there? Yeah. You see them snakes right there? Yeah. They're my babies. Okay. I care more about them snakes than I do a human life. Just like that, man. Okay. Them snakes mean more to me than any human being ever born. Man, what is this? This is a, a Mariani. There it is, right there. Is okay. that it? I don't know what you're looking at. The one at 209, right there. Well, right okay. there, you know what that is? That is a wine opener. Oh, okay. okay. You know, uh, you know, this, I don't know, you tell me what that is. That's a skeleton okay. where you use it for a candle holder, right? That's all that is. Yeah. But right. see, this is the thing that she wigs out about, man. Okay. I, uh, I, I really don't know what this means. I don't know what it amounts to. I, I believe in God and I don't pray to Satan, but uh, I feel the need to build these altars. You know, I usually hang feathers from there. Hey, is there any more Dad, snakes back here? I, is there any more snakes back here? I swear to God, I won't let nothing happen to you. Uh. Is it? Wait, whoa, 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 wait. Is the snake in there? I hope. Man, I'll tell you what to do. Oh! Yeah, man, that's all right. I don't want to see no more. No, I'm gone, man. She's pregnant. She'll have up to 60 babies. And uh, this is the male right there. This is the female. Hey, Mr. Moody, you ever thought about being a uh, snake remover? In other words, if we went to a call and there was a snake in somebody's yard, we can come and I grab him up, no problem, man. Okay. I don't care what damn kind of snake it is. And you're willing to come out and remove it for us? I'll hit him the time, so, and uh, I'll put it in my bag, and he'll be in the house. Thanks he'll a lot, He'll be sir. in the house, man. I ain't scared of nothing. I ain't scared right. of the devil himself. All right. Have a good night, okay? Every now and then, talking to somebody, especially when you you see the tears. I mean, yeah, granted, sometimes they're probably faking you out. And you, you know, yeah, I've, I've been suckered a few times, I'm sure. But every now and then... You know, you feel like you actually talked to someone and you told them something they can do to pull themselves out of this hole they're in. We got some kind of disturbance right here. Something going on in the street. I'm not sure what. Yeah, what's up? How you doing? You're right here. Chase me right down the street. Come here for a second. Stop. Come here for a second. Do you hear me? Yes, Come sir. here for a second. Step over here. Everybody just stop. Relax. Relax. Yes, sir. Relax, I said. Turn around. Turn around. Relax. Relax. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Relax. Yes, sir. Pull that. Now, what's going on? Look in the hat. You making me a little nervous, tensing up like that and pulling yes, away, yes, okay? Yes, I'm sorry. Well, just sit still. We'll sit right here, but if you do anything else, I'm going to put you on the ground hard, okay? Yes, sir. I don't know what I got going on, but I need to detain this one. He keeps tightening up and pulling away. Bring his hand back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's Thank not under arrest, but no, no, yes, he's just acting a real squirrely. Just lay down. Just lay down. Okay. If you'll just hang on to him for just a second. Yes, Something's up here. I don't know what's going on, but he's running and he's freaking out. All right. Explain to me what's okay. going on. Just come over here and tell me what's he going tried on. tried to uh, sell me some dope. Okay. It was in my skull cap. Okay. He snatched the money. Okay. This is money right. that you were buying drugs with? No. No. You just said he tried to sell you some no, dope. No. I was getting some... Okay. Well... Just be honest with me. I was getting me. some marijuana. Okay. And he told me, tell me he ain't got no more crack cocaine. Okay. So I said, no, I know I ain't want that. So he said, uh, come on, I go, I take you and get you some weed. So I say, I, well, I just gave him the ten dollars. You know, okay. Keep explaining it. why I pat you down real quick. And he uh, broke with my money. Okay. He got the cap off. He got a green. He got a light in his hand. How much money was it? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. You paid him to buy you some weed. Right. And you're saying he's got it right here. Yeah, Where's it at on it? I know it's. I know it's something. In the, uh, you bought something up in the skull cap. Okay. That's why I told you to watch the skull cap. It's ten dollars in the skull cap. Okay. Sure. I don't okay. Know what let me see your ID real quick. ID. I'm gonna let you have a seat too, real fast, so we okay. get it straight. Just stick that wallet back in your pocket. Stick it back in your pocket. Okay. Just walk over here with me. Okay. Open that with your right hand. There you go. Just have a seat. You're not under arrest. I just want to figure out what's going on. Okay. You're gonna love this one. I've, 
I'm coming up the street here, and this one's running, flagging me down. I turn around, and he says something about this guy's chasing me, chasing me. So I, I get him to stop. He stops. And then this one says, he's got my money. He tried to rob me along those lines. And that one starts to take off, so I had to put him on the car. And that's when I call y'all. Now, this one's telling me that he was buying dope from him, <laughs> and this guy stole his money while he was buying dope for me. He said he wanted to buy weed, but this guy only had crack, so, so he's disappointed and wants his money back. So we'll see if we can help them both out. What's in this hat, boss? What's in here? There's nothing in there. You don't mind if I look then, right? Why don't you tell me your side of what's going on here? OK. Me and him kind of me and him all right, officer. What's his name? Um, I don't even know. So then you're not that all right? Not that all OK, right. what's going on? Me and him kind of, we just had a little disagreement, honestly. I didn't take, that's my money, my $3. OK, what happened, though? I mean, why is he chasing you? I don't, I don't know, sir. Me and him, I mean, we all right. A you don't bit. have any idea why he's chasing you. You just run up to me on the street and say, hey, this guy's chasing me. I don't know why. And then when I try to get you to stop for a second, explain to me what's going on, and he says you got drugs, you start to pull away oh, from no, him. I don't have no drugs, no, sir. I don't sell dope. I didn't have no dope. It wasn't about no dope. You ever dope. been arrested before? Um, yes, sir. I've been arrested. What for? But I was arrested for using drugs back in... Uh, what kind of drugs? Um, I used to use marijuana and, and crack cocaine. Yeah, okay. Well, when was the last time you were arrested? Well, it's been for that? It's been about a year. About Just a year? Wow, years. that's a long time. Yeah. All right, have a seat here real quick. Is anything on the ground? Yeah, you mind just sitting here for a second? Just have a seat. Did everybody look on the ground real good? Here's your crack right here. Did you find it? Where was it? Right there. When I was searching him, I actually stepped on it, and then uh, Chris uh, pointed it out, picked it up. It was in the hat? No, no, it was on the ground. It was right there okay. by his feet. Okay, because as I stopped and got out of the car, this guy, the other guy, was coming up really fast, so I just separated him, or tried to. He stopped after a couple times of saying stop, but this guy here is steadily backing up, doing this number with the hat, and I couldn't see everything because I'm doing this. And, and then I try to get him to come here, and he keeps on backing up, and I, I just grab him, and I try to walk him to the car, and he, he does this number one time. So we just went there, and that's when I called y'all. Okay, well, we found it. You were right. It's over there. Yeah, he said he had it. Now. Okay. He said he had it, but I told him I didn't want that. I said I wanted some marijuana. Okay. Did you find it $10? We found some money, but uh, it's not $10. I found like a dollar. He might have must have dropped it. A dollar or two. Well, he's going to go to jail for possession of the cocaine. I appreciate your honesty in the whole thing. But uh, and I'll be honest with you, if I hadn't found nothing on him, I'd have told you get real and beat it. I yeah. mean, this is ridiculous. You're coming to me telling me he ripped you off buying, ripped your money off while you're trying to buy cocaine or marijuana. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we'll get your information real quick, and then we're going to send you walking. Okay. But, you know, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you as far as, you know, your habits there. It's, these kind of things are going to happen. So just hold tight for a second. Okay. I'm going to ask him one more time what was going on. What's your uh, first name? Um, James. James, listen to me for just a minute, okay? Yes, sir. Why you run up to me and flag the police down yeah, and was, ask for help when you have cocaine on you is beyond that me. That wasn't my cocaine, officer. Well, we're going to charge you with it because I believe it is. I believe it is. So you're going to jail for possession, all right? Put your leg in. Well, Officer Russ in here is uh, testing the cocaine. He's testing it to uh, just going to verify here that it is cocaine. We'll put it all in the property room and charge him with possession. Unbelievable. I still I can't believe the guy's flagging me down, <laughs> telling me, officer, help me. I've got cocaine on me. Help me, help me. So, all right, we'll start the paperwork then.
Jacksonville 911 Turner. I'm up here for some minutes. I think I was in there using the bathroom and they closed the building and the doors are locked. You're inside the bank? Yes, and I'm all locked in. I was going to Carol Jordan's and I stopped in here to use the bathroom. Hold one moment, please. Okay. We're going to call the lady that's locked in the bank. Uh, we don't know what's going on right now. We're going to see what, what's up, what we can do. Yeah, we're working. Oh, we're working. Uh, what are, let me go over here and talk to you guys, too, what we got. Can you work me, sir? No, she's the sort. Okay, what do we got then? Uh, right the bank closed at 5. She called in about 6.58 from the bathroom. She apparently fell asleep drunk inside the bathroom. They called. You've called a couple numbers, haven't you, Sam? I'm trying to uh, get her out, and no one needs to yeah. answer the phone. We don't have a, we don't have a number for her. We any, keep trying to tell her not to smoke a cigarette, but <laughs> can't smoke a better. I'm going to try to call emergency number for the bank and see if we can't get somebody to come up here and let her out. You can get it a, you guys want to find out who that is? It may be a key hole. Let me go find out real quick. No, he's back now. Okay. She's going to pick up the phone. Who's she going to call? Who's she trying to call? The police? Kim, we're here already. That's the 9 Hutchison. Hutchison, I'm locked down here inside the bank. At 6th and Main. At 6th and Main? Yes, ma'am. I was in using the bathroom. They locked the building without checking me. I was in using the bathroom. Please, let me out. We believe she's calling 911. If she is, just log it to me. I wonder if there's any other doors maybe on the back end that, she, that had the push okay, bars that she was just going to have. I doubt it. If somebody stayed in like this and wanted to rob the bank, they'd push out and let people in. Please. I mean, I want to have a cigarette and there's no, you're not supposed to smoke inside here. Oh, uh, no, don't smoke in there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All righty. they're on line with Sergeant. They have people who are familiar with this branch, but they don't have keys. They said that there is a door that she can push from the inside, the alarm will go off, and she can come out. Oh, which one is it? They don't know. Yeah. Uh, Sammy, they say there is one. They said there is a fire door. There's more on the side. I mean, put the on that way to the left. If you can get it. Come here, Kim. There's a door. Listen, calm down. There's a door. If you go right out and start looking to your left, see the exit signs? There's a push door that you can push to get out, okay? It'll set off the alarm, but don't worry about it. Just go follow the exit signs and see if you can find a door you can push to get out, okay? Okay. I want to go around the side yeah. and see if he comes out. Sweet. We got a key to the left. Hey. We got a key around the side. Hey, <laughs> there you go. Do you have any stuff in there? Do you have a purse or a bag or anything in there? All I had was my towel on the front door. You want to go get her towel for her? How much you been drinking today? Not much. Not I had much. About, about 12 glasses of water and my medicine. No alcohol? No. You kind of smell it on your breath. Well, somebody threw it at me. Somebody threw the alcohol at you? When was that? We had a food fight. Why were you in the bathroom? I was using the restroom. For two hours? No, um, before the bank closed. Before the bank closed? OK. Do you bank here? Yes. You do bank here? Yes. So you have to have some sort of ID, ID on you, right? No, I don't, I don't carry it. I don't got no pocket. Yeah, what do you got in your pocket right there? Cigarette. Can I look? Sure. Don't drop my money now. Oh, man. That's Where not money. This? Don't drop my smoke. That's not money. No ID? Um, do you have any anything on you? No. Okay. You ever been arrested before, Cam? No. Never? No. Sammy, you give this nice lady a ride? Yeah, probably downtown first. Yeah. What? I don't know. No, no. I don't Take want her back to go. Cathedral Towers and see if they can uh, ID her. Because if okay. she is. Um, Favor, go ahead and walk that way for He's going to take you to, to his car and give you a ride. Down that way, all right? Come on, Cam. So, what are we going to do now, Sanchez? 
We're going to uh, give a ride to Cathedral Towers. Which is the, it's the senior citizen's home. If they can identify her, we'll release her to the people there. If they can't identify her, we'll take her. Uh, we'll take her downtown. She's okay. arguing with the officer now. Stop here the jail, man. Okay, listen, man. All right. I want to give you two dates of birth. Mm -hmm. You're giving me two different dates of birth. So you have no idea. You don't know your social security number. Okay. No, I don't. Listen to me. All right. Very simple for me to take you downtown and get your fingerprint to find out who I you are. I just want to go home to Cathedral Towers. That's fine. We'll get you home and get you home, but understand this. If I find out you're lying to me, I'm not put your cigarette out for me, okay? Just take, take, take me to Cathedral Towers. I need your cigarettes. I need you to light up on my back seat. Yeah, you ain't allowed to smoke in the back seat, okay? Go ahead and have a seat. Go ahead and have a seat. Ouch. That's okay. Go ahead and have a seat. Ouch. Ouch. Watch your legs now. We're closing the door. We're closing the door. No, we're not. We're closing the door. Watch your legs. Watch your legs. Watch your. Yeah. Okay. Um, Cathedral Towers. Where is that? North Hey, she said Helen works the front desk and she knows who she is. Okay. See if you can run her first. I mean, she. I've been trying. Really? Two Nothing different dates of birth. There's one that came out of Tampa with a trafficking offense, but it's. Traffic offense? I don't think she's ever. Oh, offense. trafficking offense. Take her to Cathedral Towers and see if they can identify her. Okay. North Noonan. You know what I think is funny, though, is that they had nobody that had any keys to the business. It was finally, we had to get a hold of the cleaning crew. The cleaning crew is the one, one to let us in. The cleaning crew, the one that was able to show up with keys and let somebody out of the bank. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Coverage code 3. Okay, 2514. Can't transmit on tag 2. Okay, we'll still send a code 3.